Alright, so I wasn't originally going to have to do this video today, but the schedule change with the Meat Hunters video switched that up. And I needed one more video before hunting season started, and I thought what better to do than what I'm going to be doing in real life. So I've got my 30-30, I'm even wearing my fluorescent orange, and we're after Whitetail. So I thought Red Feather Falls would maybe be the best destination. I was thinking about Whiteheart because it's a little closer to like what I'd be hunting, but we were just there for turkey. And I mean Red Feather's a really good Whitetail map, so like normal I have the bow. That's going to be for does and maybe small bucks, but hopefully the majority of what we're taking is going to be with the 30-30. There's actually a decent little buck coming in. Now, I don't really trust the 30-30 frontal. I mean, it's a decent gun, but I don't know that I would try to go for a hard shot. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll give it a shot and uh, no going forward. Well, all right. I don't know if I got heart for sure, because that looked a little high, but maybe that's going to be the the way to do it then. So th it's going to be interesting, because like, I never exclusively gun hunt in Classic. I almost always really exclusively bow hunt. So we're going to be spooking a lot more animals than usual, and I think that's going to just end up with us not seeing as many. So I want to be pretty selective with what I shoot, which we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's take a look. That's long blood. So yeah, heart and liver. So I guess maybe I shot between the two lungs. That's a lot better penetration than I would have guessed we'd get, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right. That's not a very impressive buck either. But I want to try the same thing. A little further away, I'm probably going to have to do the kind of thing where you crouch forward to keep the gun steady. Not bad. I really think that's going to be what we try to do for the entire video. It's actually going to be nice to have frontal shots be a good thing for once. Because, I mean, like I said, I always hunt with a bow, and that's obviously less than ideal. Wait. Stomach intestine dropped it? I wouldn't have guessed that, but... Okay. I also don't know how I shot through the chest and missed both the heart and the lungs, but... I'm not going to complain. He dropped all right, I like the sound of that. Kind of down by the tree stand. I somewhat want to use stands to my advantage in this because I intend to be hunting out of a tree stand tomorrow for me, today, by the time you're watching this. So maybe we'll scoot over there and try to hop in. All right, so round three of average sized deer. I mean, I guess it's better now than at the end. Hopefully we can end up finding something good. Let's see if we can get this though. I don't know if that landed in the heart. I mean, I guess we had that uh, heart liver shot earlier, which you would think would be enough penetration shooting from the side to get double lung. I feel like usually on white tail with a 30-30, you don't get double lung though. So maybe that was a heart shot or maybe it's just possible and I never knew it. But we can find out here in a second. It's got to be lung blood. So that can't help us. It was actually lung liver. I didn't feel like that could have been lung liver at all. All of these shots have been weird so far. I have I couldn't have predicted any of them right. All right, that is what I was hoping to hear. That's actually really close to the edge of render though, so let's get him coming in. Whoa. Hi. You don't see elk down here very often, but unfortunately it's a herd of cows. I'm a little bit confused. I didn't pay attention at the buck we heard as a whitetail, but this guy is not close enough to where we heard the grunt. I saw that blacktail over there that just called, and I thought maybe that's what I heard, but that was a new trail. So I might use the bow on this buck, just to try to figure out what the heck's going on. Pretty dang nice of him to basically get here without stopping. Like, usually, anytime you actually want a deer to get there quickly, so you can shoot him without spooking other stuff. It'll take forever. Ah, yeah, but of course, single lung and didn't drop him. All right, let's see if we can figure out what the heck. Unless there's two black tail over there, which actually looks like there is, because that's the buck we shot. Maybe we just heard a black tail when we got here. I'm gonna assume that's what happened because I didn't see any more white tail tracks back there. That's annoying though get lung and intestine if we got the liver in there he would have dropped 
Once again, not the shot that I thought we got. But we're down here now. I think I'm going to swing back this way and go check that area out. That's a little more along the lines of what we're after. Not a huge buck, probably 140s. But he is max weight, so it's good to get him spotted. You know what? I keep forgetting I don't have to call stuff in. Alright, let's see what happens on this one, because every other shot's been interesting. The one time I think I hit him perfectly behind the shoulder, he's going to run off. So I don't know if it was too far back. Maybe that's the single lung that I was talking about, where, like, that's what usually happens and they just run a bit. I'm going to be wrong again. That's intestine blood, so it was either liver stomach or straight liver. Something like that. Straight liver. Wow. This is a weird one, but 146 is a solid buck. Well, that's not too bad a picture, I think, since he kind of landed in a rough spot. So we got at least one good one anyway. We're just hitting an hour in. I feel like it's been slow, but like I said at the beginning, gun hunting, I'm going to end up spooking a lot of deer that I just don't know are there. So it's going to happen. So this is going to be a little bit of a... Basically, just a time waster. I got a track of a, a pretty heavy buck that's fleeing, and I wanted him to hopefully calm down a bit, so taking the time to bring this guy in and get him. At least, hopefully, he's going to give me a chance to catch up to this guy when he's a little less, I don't know, alert. But yeah, that's, what, in the 50s, probably? 68 kilos, 55 score. We're just going to keep on moving, then. That might actually be the buck I'm after, and unfortunately he's not looking that big. Let me see if I can get a spot on him. He looks spooked, and the weight definitely could match. Let's uh, grab this track and see if it changed. I mean, I definitely... Uh, it's going to be a water track, so we're going to need a different one. I definitely could have ended up spooking two different bucks, but I think it's safe to say there's a pretty good chance that's the one. Yeah, the weight changed, so that's going to be the same one. And where was he at? Right there. I wonder if I can get, like, at least intestines, if not a lung, from this angle. We'll give it a shot anyway. Maybe? I tried to stay far enough back that I wasn't going to shoot, like, too far to the right and just get nothing but flesh. So, hopefully that worked. Yeah, that's not exactly what I was hoping to see. It might kill him anyway. I don't really know. I mean, four spots of blood's going to be a pretty good sign. I'll take it slow. Maybe he'll just uh, lay down up here and expire. Not yet, apparently. We'll see if we can help that along a little bit. This isn't going to be the most ethical shot I've ever taken, but... To be honest, that might actually have a better chance of getting intestines than the first shot. Yeah, it worked. And yet, yeah, it absolutely got intestines too. I considered doing that on the first shot, I really did, but I thought maybe we'd have a shot of getting lungs right through the tail. That's good. So yeah, shoulder blade actually, I shot too far to the right. I thought of anything I was into the intestines, but anyway, I think I have time for one more fast travel. And I don't know that I want to go up here. Like, White Tail have had so much time to move around, I'm afraid I'm going to end up with Blacktail and stuff. So I think I'm actually going to go back here. Because a lot of times deer get caught up in, like, th this area. So hopefully, if there's not one at the stand, there's going to be one somewhere over there. That's a moose. I don't think it's a very big moose either. Now, nah, so we'll ignore that. We'll head up that hill and hopefully there's going to be a buck hanging out somewhere. Yeah, that's about what I thought I was going to see. So I got his track after he grunted. But I also have a track of a much heavier buck, which I think is going to have a decent chance of being good. So, I want to make sure I drop this guy. Because the last thing I need is for the buck that I have tracks from the spook because I have this dude run past him. That's a little bit awkward. No problem, though. So I could have spooked the other buck, I'm not sure. His tracks are definitely fresh enough, like, the way he was headed I could have. But the other thing is, he could just be coming into a call right now, so we have to really take our time till we figure it out. But yeah, 60.5 on that. And let's see if we can figure out where this guy got to. 
That must be our buck there. He's definitely nothing special, but at least he's better than your average whitetail, so that won't be a too bad way to end. He might be like 130s. And he's got us pinned, so let's go ahead and see if we can make another weird shot happen. Once again, not dropping him, but let's see what happens on this one. That's got to be a single lung. I aimed really far forward. He actually went down. Hopefully, that's what it's been. I'm pretty sure I've been wrong about every shot that I've actually attempted to predict. And I don't even know why, like, I decided to make that a uh, game within the game while we've been doing this, but it's just been one of those weird hunts. But yeah, that's definitely the right buck. I can see his tracks going over here. So that wasn't too bad. He apparently didn't spook. He just happened to walk a path where I didn't see him, and he never caught me either. And... Single lung, so we finally got one figured out. He's 138, which is at least like a kind of rare score. And simply for potential thumbnail reasons, we'll have two options with a couple of bucks we shot. That actually looks pretty good. So this is a really weird way of thinking, but that was like the perfect amount of luck where it wasn't a super lucky hunt, but we still got some decent deer. So hopefully I haven't used up all my luck and we can get a deer in real life tomorrow. So... By the time you're watching this, hopefully that's already happened because it's going to be about dark. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.